while she's been making us proud in the West, chilling with Ellen and Jimmy Fallon and Jimmy Kimmel, we have all been missing her so much. Welcome to Mumbai and welcome to Bollywood Life, Priyanka Chopra. It's so glad to meet you after school. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to be back. Okay, you know, when you came onto the airport and the visuals and the pictures that came out, tell us what your homecoming ritual was like. Um, <laughs> it just, it was wonderful when I landed. I mean, there were so many people outside. Um, the airport, which happens, which happened in the last time as well, but it's such an overwhelming feeling of, of feeling so much love and so many fans travelled from, you know, across the country to come and see me at that point and it just, it felt really with gifts and like hugs and emotions and it was, it was just really nice and this trip, it was really short. Uh, I had only seven days because I had to go back for promo, for promotion for Baywatch. But um, so I caught up with a lot of friends. Um, I, like I had to meet, I had to meet so many people, and so many people wanted me to, you know, wanted to meet me, and I wanted to just catch up with the people who've been in my corner, the people who've supported me through my career and my weird, ostentatious choices. So um, it was really nice to, to. This trip was just great. Uh, I got to speak with everyone about Baywatch, introduce it to India, and um, so it's it's been a lot of fun. I met filmmakers about possible next films. I uh, I got down to finalizing six films for produce production this year. So I, it was a very productive trip as well. <laughs> Not just a fun one with catching up and all, lots of work. Let's well. just say it was a very tiring trip <laughs> and I will sleep a lot on this plane tonight. <laughs> okay. Also we want to know from you, you know, Baywatch is the kind of film that we can totally imagine be seeing, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like a movie that you will be like, she'll get into the bikini there and we've seen you do that and do that so yeah, well. But, I'm not but you know, exactly this, why? Yeah. Why did you choose a baddie over a bikini? <laughs> there is no debate on yeah? that. <laughs> okay. I would choose a baddie over a bikini. It's a much better character. I mean, I, wearing a bikini is easy. You can do that on a cover of a magazine. You don't need a movie for that. You choose movies for characters. And my character was just extremely intriguing to me. Um, it was written for a guy, and I recently found out who it was written for. Actually, it was a really big actor, um, and so that made me feel like even now they're really curious to find out. Yeah, I know. I can't tell you. Ask Seth. <laughs> you all can ask Seth. He'll, he'll probably answer it. I can't. Okay. He only told me. Mm -hmm. But um, it, I, I can't obviously talk about it. But that put a lot of more pressure on me. Uh, but Seth thought I think that it would be really fun to have a female. I mean, a female antagonist against Dwayne who's never had that. So it was a lot of fun for me to play and that's why I chose it. Absolutely and we are loving the whole Barry look you know like you are not the regular Barry that you see on a silver yeah. screen. Yeah it wasn't, it wasn't normal. I wanted her to be feminine and I wanted her to be scary because not because she screams and yells but like a graceful woman. She doesn't have to get her nails dirty. She has heels for that. <laughs> wow. Okay. We also wanted to know what was it like working with The Rock, you know, everyone's like really obsessed. People in Bollywood have been telling that PC get us to meet uh, him. So what has it been like? What is he as a, as a person? What is it? He's, he's as, he deserves the hype he gets. Let's just say. He deserves to be the movie star he is. He's extremely hardworking, very focused, super smart, knows how to market a film. He's also a producer on this movie. Um, extremely gentle, very funny, which I didn't expect, but really sweet, you know, and thoughtful. Like when I was coming to India and we met for CinemaCon, it was his idea to, because he couldn't come, he felt so bad that we can't make it to India this time, um, that he was, uh, he told me, like, can I send a video with you, which would, you know, for the Indian press and for the country, because I feel really bad that we couldn't come and I was like, of course, um, you know, we, we would really appreciate it. So he's very thoughtful like that, which is really nice. He didn't have to, but it was, it, it's just very, very sweet. So he's, he definitely deserves the love he gets. I see it. Yours is a success story that is kind of, you know, got everyone talking. Every Bollywood actor here is proud of you. Every director feels that you're the one who deserved it and yours is a success. But was there any one point that kind of, you know, you knew that it has changed, life has changed for you? What was that one turning point, do you remember? Um, I don't think it was an achievement. I think it was reactions, where I felt that something changed. Um, I guess the pride with which, not just the <coughs> film industry, but fans and people I meet um, who are of Indian descent, or who are uh, South Asian, or who are immigrants in America, who are not even Indian, the kind of 
pride and love that I get from them. Like when I'm walking, you know, to set or if I'm getting off a car or like if I'm at a restaurant. You know, I recently a girl came up to me and, and I thought she was Indian and she just held me and she started talking about how, um, you know, she wants to be as fearless. She doesn't want to be afraid anymore. She doesn't want people to make her feel less because of the fact that, you know, she she is not American or she does is not from America and she's an immigrant. And I said, uh, and then she said, people think we look alike. And I said, oh, it must be the Indian thing. And she said, no, I'm not Indian, I'm, I'm Dominican. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, I mistook you. And she was just like, it really matters that you see, just as a woman, not as, you know, anything else, that just as a girl, you're not afraid, even if it can go completely wrong. And, you know, when people say things like that to me, and I don't think about it when I'm doing it, I just do things because I, at that time, instinctively feel that way. So the repercussions of the things that I do, that's when I felt that, I don't know what, but something has shifted. So it's not professionally, because for me work is work, and I'll always evolve and I'll always look for something bigger and better to do. Whatever that might be in my future, I don't know. But it's the reactions of people towards me that make me feel like something has shifted. I also wanted to say now that you said you got mobbed, do you know that Deepika was mistaken and she was called Priyanka in two of her international visits? Have you heard of it? I, I, did, I did see that and you know that's, that's just ignorance and it's not right and um, I'm, I mean I guess I'm the most popular brown face guys, everyone is not, does not, every brown girl does not look the same, don't mistake. <laughs> Um, you know, like, <laughs> like, let's try and tell us apart. Yeah. So, no, that was not right and it's not fair. And it's, um, she's a massive star from India. But it's also, like, I understand, I guess, because, like, when I w went to America for the first time, um, at least because I had a film, my film has also not released yet. But, like, when I went to America for the first time, I used to walk into the room and introduce myself. I don't expect people to know me either. Because, you know, it's a different country. Just because I'm a popular star in India doesn't mean the whole world has to know me. Just because I'm a Bob, you know, Bollywood actor doesn't mean people who don't watch Hindi movies have to know me. I don't feel, I'm not entitled like that. So, I mean, I guess that is also another aspect of it. But, yeah, we all don't look the same, guys. <laughs> <laughs> but we are sure that now you don't need an introduction. And, you know, we know that they watch yeah, is coming in. I mean, that was like before e Waterloo. Yeah, thinking, absolutely. But, Waterloo, but before we end this interview, we have like a small fun uh, bikini test for you. Okay. okay, so I've got some pictures here. And you'll have to guess. Whose body it is? Yes. Because <laughs> body is the victim. These are movie stills, so maybe you can. Okay, I'll give you some hints. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I'll give you a hint, okay? So, uh, oh you God. have mentioned her in the Baywatch dialogue. Could you again? Yes! <laughs> this is easier. Okay. Yes, okay. She's an actress who's recently uh, debuted in Hollywood. Typical. Hmm. Abhi, wo, she's debuted before me. Yeah. In my <laughs> <laughs> Oh. This body I recognize as the only bo woman's body that I recognize. <laughs> Thank <laughs> okay. Uh, what about this one? Um, Very nice, but who has these abs? Very impressive. Mm, she's an she's an actress who was recently in a wrestler film with. Uh, Dabba. Yes. I'm so good at this, yeah. guys. We should play more quizzes. This is a uh, actress you were recently hanging out with. She had no, come to one of you. Um, she had come to your party. She's a young girl. Ali. Okay. okay. This is also from one of your recent, no, no, different person that's your recent, you've also worked with her in a national award winning film. Kangana. Yes. Amazing her body looks here. I need to go to the gym. I'm very inspired looking at her bodies right now, guys. Okay. Next time you will see me, it'll be with abs like that. We are sure that even now you could pull off a bikini with abs. Bikini is fine even without abs. I think I want the abs. Aww, That's okay. a really like. Thank you so much, Priyanka. It was a pleasure talking to you.